Welcome back, and check it out. We're playing Corneroids 1.2.0 on our world, Tall Think. Yeah, random naming for the win. Been checking for tile set updates. Still nothing significant at the moment, so we're going to continue playing with the default tile set. The sad thing is, though, when I get a new tile set, I'm probably going to have to make a new world. But uh, the positive thing is, you'll get to see a new ship every time congratulations yay repetitiveness but then you'll get to learn the first part of corneroids which is probably the most important part the later a game can get kind of repetitive and kind of boring so uh... just gotta keep you entertained right I don't know. especially uh... until we get the multiplayer situation up and going so let's get this icy rock going so that when we uh... go to make thrusters we got plan D Planty, planty. A little bit of lag there. All right. So, still trying to figure out the best way to do multiplayer and be able to record it on both computers. Excuse me. And because uh, I, the typical way I like to record is uh, popping between both views, so you can kind of see it through both views. Because when two people are playing, interesting things happen on both screens. And it's nice to be able to see it both on both screens. Oh man, I really like being able to go through one by one spots. I think I think we have just about enough. Yeah, I think we have just about enough. Let's get some more cobalt. Watch out for baddies. And that's probably the next thing he needs to do, besides, you know, the obvious, like bugs. But uh Next thing he needs to do is add more monsters and uh, tighten up the collision boxes. Because right now, the when you go to crash into things, it's it's a little bit a uh, little bit funky when you run, run into stuff. Um, and then then after that, another suggestion I'd like to make would be the uh, some sort of um, gravity device so that you can have big big ships and then uh, simulated simulated gravity situation um, something like that I don't know it'd be cool it'd be super cool but then again it would be a really unique si game if I didn't have the ability to just simulate gravity in space because you're, you're not I mean realistically you shouldn't be allowed to do that I mean I'm I'm sure the sci-fi sci buffs out there would beg to differ, but uh, in my understanding of physics, unless you use uh, centrifugal force to simulate gravity, there's not much you can do other than having like magnetic boots or something. And that would be really freaking awesome if there was centrifugal force in this game. Okay. Okay, dokie. All right, we got some batteries. We got some crystals. All right, what we got here? Cobalt diamonds are typically used for weapons. Uh, we don't need any weapons at the moment. We've got a lot of liquid light nitrogen, or hydrogen, nitrogen, liquid nitrogen, uh, some batteries. We're probably going to need a lot more than that. So let's get up some more discs. And then, uh, let's see. Maybe I should go straight to the triple drill. I do need, what do I need again? I forget. Uh, do, 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 do. Power, let's see, it needs three of these guys. I got one already. Cobalt diamonds needs a crap ton. I would need ten, actually, if I wanted to do that. Um, hmm. I'd, li I'd like to get to another planet first. Not planet. Asteroid. Another asteroid first. Yes, asteroid. That's what I meant to say. And then once I get to the other asteroid, then we can start to look for the good things. The goodies, the goody goodies. I hope you guys have downloaded this game and started playing it yourself. We need to, we need to swarm his website, just dominate it, and he needs to put advertisements or something. I mean, this guy is like, is just so modest. He just puts a game out there with no way of making any money off of it, not even advertisements. I mean, like, not even like AdFly or Link Bucks or something. I mean, at least Google Ads, you know, just on the side where we could just click on it just just for the heck of it. Nope, nothing. He's just like, yeah, I'm doing this because I'm freaking awesome. Talking about Miko. 
not sure how to pronounce his last name, and so uh, I don't feel like butchering the, the man's butchering the man's name. N not sure where he's from either, though. But uh, I'm sure he's from Genius Land, where super smart guys are made. They uh, they kind of manufacture them. You can find them uh, on the shelves and purchase them for nine ninety five, unless you order right now. And right now, not being relative, actually, so you can just any time is right now, and uh, you'll get them, genius guys, and they'll make games for you just just like Miko, and they'll be just this freaking awesome. God, this reminds me so much of. All right, I, I get it. Doesn't remind. Well, I guess it does. All right, let me get the thought out. Flying around, building spaceships reminds me of Gary's mod space build so much. So much so that you're probably tired of hearing about it. Let's make a... I, I, how, many, how many cobalt diamonds do I have? Five. Can I make... A, I might be able to make another drill. That'd be awesome. Um, but anyways, I, get, I just get that feeling. Oh, I can. Yes, let's go ahead and get that done. I think I have enough. Yeah. Anyways, like I was saying, it just reminds me so much of it because it was just... It was just so much fun running around, just trial and error, figuring out how to fly your crazy-looking ships. Although I usually made them look pretty realistic, even though you could just slap some thrusters on a couch and go flying into space. What am I doing? Nice. Yes, we got a, two of these, two of these. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am out of, uh, what? This is bullet crap. This is absolute ridiculousness. Wait a second. There's three there's three drills here. What am I missing? Uh drills. Iron ingots. Oi. Alright, well. Let's get that done. We got plenty of time in this episode, so let's do that. I know I said I wasn't, but I lied. And I, I really because I really want to get to the because like I said earlier, the first thing you want to do is get higher level drills, because it makes your life much easier. I, I'm automatically mining out large areas for my spaceman to move through, and I keep forgetting I can just go straight down through. Because uh, the Minecraft rule does not apply here. You can mine straight down, because you're not going to fall. And nothing's going to fall on you. Unless those pesky, pesky, pesky parasites come after you. Pesky parasite. Okay. Furnace it up. And... Uh, let's get some extraction extraction going on. Back to the furnace. Rubble. And you know it would be really awesome if we get like build craft modifications and uh, missiles and pr just all kinds of crazy stuff through modifications for this game. Just wait and see. This game is going to be huge. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Buy stock in Miko. Buy corneroid stock. Let's watch how. Let's ta da! Look at this. Near him, near him, near him, near him. Uh, it's definitely faster. Not exactly noticeable. But the good news is, ah, I'm about to turn off that snap too, even though it makes it much easier when building. Nice. Okay. Okay. First things first. We need a base. So let's let's get some aluminum blocks and light and aluminum and fly away far enough that that red line that's connecting back to the asteroid no longer connects. And here we are. We start anew. I cannot see. Wow, I need some lights up here big time. Excellent. All right, let's start the base. Let's just make a let's make a flying torpedo. How about that? Start with a let's make a flat base, and I'll mine it out. Excellent. And then we'll just uh, oh boy, we're already out of building materials. Great job! Hooray! Right, let's get some more aluminum. Whoa! Gimme, gimme. Oh yeah, this is definitely faster. Oh yeah, there's lots, lots more down here. Gimme, 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 gimme. Uh, it also looks like he's changed the way that these ores fly to you. They're not nearly as fast. Like, watch, watch when I get close to this. Look how look how slowly it comes at me. 
you can actually follow the trail. It's not instantaneous. I wonder if that was purposeful or maybe it's a byproduct of some bug he fixed. Either way, I, I kind of like actually seeing them magnetically at, attract to you. Um, kind of like a kind of like a vacuum. Yeah, it's more like a vacuum, I guess. A vacuum within a vacuum. We're vacuuming in space. <laughs> you know how well that works. Get a Hoover out here, and then all of a sudden we have a black hole. Yeah, we're ready to go. All right, let's make some more iron guts. Whoa. All right, let's get some plating. All right, we can make a bunch now. We used up all my aluminum last episode making our pseudo armor, so can't really blame us. Hey, look, this looks like there's somebody try trying to eat our asteroid, which they can have. It's only like 3,000 blocks. Oh, crap. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to have to save the starship building for next episode. We're coming to the end here. Running out of time. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Subscribe for more. Check it out. We're playing Corner Rides. See ya.